Hello and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today we're going to talk about homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Now you may have seen that in your healthy breakfast uh, this morning. For instance, if we take a look at our uh, cereal here, we've got uh, flakes and berries and milk. So we can see all the different components of this mixture. Uh, so that's a uh, that's a heterogeneous mixture. Uh, this has got solids in it, so we can call it a mechanical mixture. Now, if you had some tea with your breakfast, we can't really... We know the tea is sweet. It may have had a little bit of lemon juice added. It's got some tea particles in it. Um, but we can't see those different parts. All we can see is this light brown liquid. So the tea is a good example of a homogeneous mixture. Now, the orange juice is interesting. Uh, this particular orange juice looks uh, nice and smooth and we can't see different parts, so perhaps we could cl classify it as a homogeneous mixture. Uh, but some orange, juice, orange juices comes with pulp, and if you wait long enough, the, uh, the pulp will settle out. And in that case, this orange juice right now, if it had pulp that is settling out, uh, we'd call it a, a suspension. It would be actually be a heterogeneous mixture. So sometimes it's it's not always clear. Perhaps we can clarify it more by looking at a, a situation where we make our own mixtures. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add some some water to a beaker, and I'll add a little bit more, and then I'm going to take uh, iron three oxide, uh, better known as as uh, rust, and I'm going to uh, drop this into the water and see what happens. And if we look really closely at what's happening, we can see that the iron 3 oxide is settling in the water. It's, it's not staying mixed at all. So this example is a really good example of a heterogeneous mixture. Now I've also got some ethanol here, C2H5OH, and what I'll do is I'll uh, add some more water to this beaker and then I will uh, add some ethanol. And as I add ethanol, I can see that my mixture looks completely uh, the same throughout. I, I can't tell the different particles apart. Um, and even if I use the atom viewer and take a, a, a quick look at the a close-up of the, the atoms, a, a representation of the atoms, I can't see any difference. Uh, between those those atoms. So uh, that means that I'm dealing with a homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixtures when you you can't see the different parts. So uh, thanks for uh, viewing this uh, digital lesson. Uh, just a reminder these digital lessons are made with the help of uh, Yanka, uh, a great piece of simulation software. In this case it was uh, Yanka Inorganic Chemistry. So if you haven't tried it yet by all means, uh, go to yanka.com and give it a try. Thanks again.